OMG! We were going through our year's calendar and you won't believe what four countries we are traveling to where we are taking you guys with us somewhere in the world. Mabuhay squad. We are going to take you guys this year to RJ, you're lying. We're not going to Paris. We are. <gasps> are you serious? Oh my gosh. Seriously? Where else did you say? So we're going to four countries. First stop would be Germany. <laughs> oh, ho, ho. awesome. Can't wait to taste some German beer. Where else? Frankfurt and then Berlin. The Netherlands. OMG, Netherlands as in like Amsterdam? Uh-huh. And then we go to oh. Belgium. Oh. I need to sit down. <laughs> oh my gosh, Belgium? Belgique? <gasps> and then our last stop will be Paris. OMG. Oh, my dream. Mon rêve de visiter le pays de Paris. Oh my gosh. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. <gasps> I gotta brush up on my French. I speak Montrealer French. That's in July. It's in July? Yeah. Okay, so I, got a, I got several months. Time for me to study. But wow, my boy squad, this is awesome. We're going to France, Germany, Belgium, and Netherlands. <gasps> Are any of you guys from these countries? Should we have a meet and greet? Would you guys come and meet us? <gasps> I'd love to meet you guys over there in those countries. This will be our first time in Europe. Believe it or not. OMG, this is amazing. Uh, Germany. <gasps> I wonder if we could visit the famous ant store in Berlin. Okay, it's still quite a way. And I'm sure we're gonna like fit all of these places in a short amount of time because obviously I can't be away from my bird for too long. Um, emotionally, I can't. But also, this is pretty exciting. Very, very exciting. And okay, something is just distracting me outside my window. Check this out. OMG. There's a fire out there. <gasps> I hope people are okay. Uh-oh. Where is that? Makari? Is that Makari? No. San Juan? Quezon City? Oh my. That's quite a big fire. Yeah, that's crazy. Uh-oh. Oops, did I say Le Pays de Paris? <laughs> that means the country of Paris. Whoops. La Ville de Paris. The city of Paris. Le Pays de France. Yes. <laughs> oh, oh. Je suis surprisé. Oh my gosh, my French is terrible. Je suis... Comment est-ce qu'on dit surprised? Je suis... <gasps> RJ, do you speak French? Do you remember any French? French bread. <laughs> French bread? French fries? French bread bigger. No, French language. Do you say surprised? Je suis... <gasps> surprised. <laughs> Okay, clearly I'm gonna be the one navigating around Paris, not RJ. No, we're going with the Masayamas. We are? Yeah. OMG, awesome! Our friend Mark and Ro and Aaron are coming with us. Oh, this is gonna be so cool. I can't wait to eat European food, seriously. Mmm, steak tartare. Mm. OMG, Google just Googled it. The French for surprised is surpris. Duh, I knew that. What's wrong with me? So obviously, as a Canadian, grew up in Canada, in school, we're taught French and English. And depending on where you grew up and what school your parents decided to put you in, they also have like French immersion, where like half the day is taught in French, or like full immersion French, where the whole, everything is French. Me, I took French throughout all of high school, but I couldn't actually speak it till I moved to Montreal. Also in elementary school, I took Italian. But the thing with languages, I find, is you really need to live and immerse yourself in it. Like if you want to learn a language, move to that country or a place where they speak that. Um, because learning it I find in school, like the get, taking core lessons helps, but it doesn't help as much as actually practicing the languages, hearing the language um, every single day. Me, I can speak conversation, conversational Filipino now after living here in the Philippines for seven years, but there's still a lot I miss. Like, there's a huge language barrier between me and Ate Elsie still, and I always have to look at RJ. <laughs> But learning languages is such a cool thing because it's fun when you go from just like hearing jargon to actually being able to pick out words and phrases and put it together to, 
to form certain meanings, like to guess meanings, to all the way full out evolved, where your ear just subconsciously understands even though you're focusing on something else. You know what I mean? And that's how it's it's been, I think, for uh, learning Filipino, Tagalog, as they say here. It's like now when I go back to Canada and I listen to my mom and dad and parents and uncles, I can literally understand what they're saying. And I can like tell my cousins, hey, they're gossiping about you and your grades and like blah, 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 blah. I can spy. It used to be the adult language growing up. Filipino when I was living in Canada. My brother and all my cousins, we never spoke Filipino. I mean, we heard our parents speak it, but they never taught us. Anyway, learning languages, very fun thing. Going to Paris, going to Belgium, Amsterdam, and Germany, that is gonna be super fun. All of you guys from these places, leave a comment, give us suggestions on what to do, what to eat, where to go, party, yeah! I can't wait for this Euro trip. Of course, that's in July, so there's no need to panic, Ligaya. Mm -hmm. By then, you'll be a pro at like me being away for a little while. I mean, you already are. It was really hard having to travel when the Gaia was growing up. One, because I wanted to be there every step of the way. Like, me as a bird parent, I wanted to be there for every moment of her development. Um, and she depended on me to be there too. Like, she's emotionally bonded to me. But now that she's like grown up, she can do everything on her own, she plays with toys now more than ever before, um, and she can eat solids, she's completely weaned, it's a bit easier now to travel. And she loves Ate Elsie and RG sisters who are with her all the time, every single day. Yes, Ligaya, you've grown up into a beautiful ladybird. Mm-hmm. Time for recall training. Come on, Ligaya. Come, come, come. Ligaya, come. Come, come, come. <laughs> she always stops and looks around. She gets kind of distracted by the lights, but it's a good thing that she's got some kind of distraction because out in the wild, if I decide to free fly her, there'll be tons of distractions. Ligaya, come. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ligaya. Come on. Come on. Good girl. Come on. Fly, 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 fly. Good, good, good. Awesome. Drink that water. Drink that water. Drink that, drink that, drink that water. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta hydrate after a nice flight. Oh my god. So guys, I'm here. I just arrived for the CrossFit class. Look at Raquel. She's a machine. She took the advanced class, which was before the beginner's class, which I did. Remember that vlog where I took both classes? She does this every day now. She does both classes. Crazy. And this weekend, she's doing like this fitness event called Sparta. Seriously. Wow. I'm so proud of her. Look at her body. She's a superhero. Look at that. I'm kind of glad I didn't attend this class too. <laughs> Cocas! Seriously, the exercises they need to do in succession for CrossFit is not humanly possible. Seriously. But a little part of me wishes I attended this class too. So it could be dying. Cause you're a beast! Go! Go, go, go! See guys, you can diet all you want, take supplements all you want, but nothing takes the place of the hard work working out. That's all there is to it. It's the only way to stay fit. Good job, cuz. You're the best. Guys, today is a massive class. There are so many today. And apparently, they're a company. Their company paid for their membership. Wow. That's such a good idea. I would love to work for a company that paid for my CrossFit membership. That actually gives me an idea. Jaya, would you join CrossFit? Mabuhai squad, I'd like you to meet Camille. Yes, she's here all the time. She's a pro at CrossFit. So fit. And you're my partner today. Yay! Also working out in our group is Khalil. Yes. Okay, Mabuhai squad, let's do this.
summer. Yes. You're amazing. High five, Camille. We did it. Ooh. Khalil, you wanted to say something for the vlog? Well, subscribe to PewDiePie. Subscribe to PewDiePie. Good morning. Yes. What's up? How are all of you? Mm -hmm. Beautiful, beautiful morning. Here with Ligaya. Yeah, she be picking up my cap. Mm -hmm. Oh, I feel great after that workout last night. Wow. Whew. Working out really makes you feel good the next day somehow. During periods when I'm not actively going to the gym or doing physical exercise, it's sort of different. I feel like the blood isn't circulating in me properly or it just like my energy levels and even sometimes my happy feelings are kind of low. You know what I'm saying? The guy is up now on her favorite guava tree. <laughs> Soaking up that sunlight. She looks gorgeous up there. Awesome. She loves chewing up that bark. Now with parrots, you have to know what woods and leaves and fruits they're feeding on if you ever put them onto a tree in the wild because not all trees and fruits and leaves are uh, parrot safe there's like a list for example avocado not allowed for parrots it can kill them mm -hmm. apple seeds apparently contain cyanide so not allowed for them either but guava completely safe and she's loved guava chewing on guava bark since she was a little little young like fledgling bird <laughs> Her old branches um, in my condo used to be made of guava. This same species, native guava. And it's also the tree we plan to put uh, in the apiary in the future. Good girl, she pooed, which means she won't be pooing on me. I wonder if the Gaia will ever get to the point where she can fly to me from up there. Because usually I have to get her. Um, the harness doesn't keep her from flying. She can totally fly with the harness, but come the Gaia. Come on, come, come, come. That would be awesome. If she could just fly to me and then fly there. That would be awesome. It'll be a work in progress. Come on, Ligaya. Come. Come, come, come. Now, I'm really excited about uh, visiting Europe later this year. That should be fun. Again, my first time in Europe. Can't believe we're going to Paris. Wow, that is awesome. And Belgium and Netherlands and Germany. I think that's gonna be quite the adventure. Um, in terms of the other European countries, I guess we're gonna have to leave that for another time because of course, can't be gone too long. Got the bird and also Ants Canada as well. Both of which take up a lot of time and are a commitment. So uh, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to Europe for like a second or third leg and we'll visit other countries. I would really, really love to visit Italy. Oh, Italia. And I know Italy has like a lot of places that I personally would like to visit. I would love to visit Sicilia. I'd like to visit Venet, Venezia, Venice, um, Milano, right? Of course, Roma. There's so many. Napoli, right? All you Italians, I grew up with Italians. I love Italians, so I'm sure I'm gonna love Italy. So yeah, gonna go up for a second leg to visit Italy and also Spain. Of all the world travelers that I know, everyone puts Barcelona, Spain in um, their top three list of places to visit. So obviously wanna visit Spain. Greece, OMG, Mykonos, my dream. I love Greek people. I have Greek tattooed on my body. Turkey, Hungary, Norway. OMG, I see all you guys from Norway out there watching our videos. I see you in the analytics. OMG, of course the UK. Hello, Ireland, Scotland, England, all of those places. Europe is such a big, rich region that I would really love to visit, so can't do all at once. Something to look forward to, right guys? Wow! OMG! OMG! Guys, we just got something in the mail. We got a few things in the mail. <gasps> what is it? <gasps> OMG! My boy squad, you won't believe what we just got. Check it out! 